Aloha and welcome to Hula Preservation Society's Digital Umeke. HPS has conducted oral history interviews with Hula elders for over 20 years. Digital Umeke is our virtual collections website featuring select materials of elder collections from our archive. This tutorial is a brief overview on navigating and accessing materials in the Nona Beamer collection. Upon visiting Digital Umeke, images of some elders we have worked with are displayed at the top. These remarkable people lived through dramatically changing times in 20th century Hawaii. Their lives in Hula have helped to preserve, perpetuate, and cultivate Hawaiian culture and life ways. There are a handful of tabs at the very top that can help you use and navigate this site. Scrolling down the page allows you to access areas by featured content and by category. Let's take a look at the collection for Antinona Beamer. Click on the top tab titled Collections. This is Hula Master Nona Kapua Ilohia Deshe Beamer. She was born in 1923 into the well-known Beamer family and was the eldest of 13 grandchildren of Helen Deshe Beamer. From an early age, she was an eager student of all things Hawaiian and spent most of her life teaching and sharing of her beloved culture and heritage. You can learn more about Auntie Nona and her life's journey through this virtual collection. All of our oral history kupuna have a featured photo with a short summary at the top of their collection page. Below this is a brief section providing insight into how HPS met this elder and what it was like to spend time with them. Auntie Nona possessed a natural curiosity in life that ultimately inspired the founding of HPS in 2000. Even though she was officially retired by then, Auntie spent a great deal of time in her last years building the HPS Oral History Library and participating in the public programs HPS presented in those early years of the nonprofit. Forever the teacher and nurturer, she never got tired of helping others progress in their hula and cultural journeys. To see the items available in Auntie's virtual collection, scroll down. These records contain photos, interview transcripts, edited video, finding aids, and footage lists to assist you in your research and learning. Let's take a look at Auntie Nona's person record. Here we have some basic biographical info about Auntie. Some external links for additional sources relating to her are listed at the bottom of the page. The beautiful photograph you see was taken in the 1950s when Auntie was in her 30s and was regularly performing in Waikiki. Let's go back to Auntie's main collection page. Another type of record you can use to learn more about Auntie is a digital heritage item record. Let's take a look at an HPS panel discussion Auntie was part of in 2004 on the island of Maui. A viewing carousel with available materials for this panel discussion is displayed at the top of the record. You can watch the entire recorded panel program if you click here. Let's take a peek. Well, I taught my first hula class when I was 12 years old. My mother was ill, and my father said, Nona, you and your sister have to go to the studio and take care of your mother's classes. You know what your mother's doing. You've sat in her classes, and you've helped her before. I was just 12 years old. My sister was 10, and she's answering the phone. Good morning, in the whole studio. <laughs> she could barely write the receipts, but. <laughs> <laughs> and the first name on the appointment book was Mary Pickford. Anybody remember Mary Pickford? <gasps> and I said to my father, oh, Mary Pickford, she's a famous movie actress. Oh, I, I can't teach her. You get in there. <laughs> but she was very sweet. She was smaller than I was, <laughs> and very soft hands, very soft feet. There is a transcript of the panel discussion if you would like to read the conversation along with the video or without the video. Depending on your system and browser, the transcript may automatically download or the PDF may open up in another window. Most browsers will open the PDF in a browser window. You can search the entire transcript for specific words, names, or places 
by using the browser's built-in search function. For example, we can search the word grandmother. We see it first occurs on page 5 when Uncle George Naope is talking about his great-grandmother. Click on the arrows to see additional results for your search. The second occurrence of grandmother is on page 6 where Auntie Nona is talking about her great-grandmother and her grandmother. She says, well, my great-grandmother was a dancer, Isabella Kaili Deshe. She was from Maui. Of course, my grandmother, Helen Deshe Beamer, was a dancer and teacher. Auntie Nona was very proud of her hula lineage and family. Some browsers automatically download a PDF and do not open in a web browser like this. Locate the downloaded PDF on your computer, open the file, and use Adobe's built-in search feature to look for key terms. Let's return now to the record for this panel presentation. You can also look at photos taken during the event. To scroll in the carousel, you can simply click on the next thumbnail to see what else is included. Lastly, a research tool called a finding aid is also available. It can help you narrow down areas of interest before doing more in-depth research. You can readily identify a finding aid in the carousel because it is green. Transcripts are orange. Like the transcript files, a PDF will either display in a browser window or automatically download. You can look at the finding aid to get a feel for terms and content as they occurred in the conversation. Additional information for this digital heritage item record and the panel itself can be found in the right-hand column of the page and at the bottom of the page. There are also digital heritage item records for oral history interviews HPS conducted with Auntie Nona. These are distinguishable from events as they are labeled with Auntie Nona's name followed by the date of the interview. These records may also contain downloadable PDF transcripts and finding aids to assist in your research, along with photos taken by HPS during the interviews. Remember, transcript files are always orange and finding aids are green. Again, additional information can be found in the right-hand column and at the bottom of the record page. The last kind of research tool you may find in an elder's collection is a footage list. Let's take a look at Auntie Nona's. This list is a PDF and again may open in your web browser or automatically download. This listing offers details on HPS footage we have relating to Auntie Nona in the archive. Most of these resources are not yet available online, so please feel free to contact us about something in particular. We'd like to share an item from Auntie's footage list that is available online. In 2005, she, son Keola, daughter-in-law Moana, and Hanai daughter Maile performed together at the Ohana Night event for the World Hula Conference. Let's take a look at part of the performance where Auntie dances her signature songs.
If you make your way to this video and watch the rest of the medley, you're in for a real treat. Auntie Nona sure knew how to have fun on stage and put on a good show. What a natural. We hope you enjoy your time learning about our beloved founder, Auntie Nona Beamer. We encourage you to explore other elder collections on Digital Umeke. If you need help with your research, have questions, or would like to inquire about other materials, please go to Research Inquiries at the top of the page. You will be taken to our HPS Archive page where you can access our Archive Inquiry form. Mahalo for joining us. We can be reached at archive at hulapreservation.org. Malamapono!